Catherine has made London her home, but her English-born daughter, Violet, won't let her forget she's Canadian. Violet is very English, and she pulls rank. She'll correct my Canadian accent all the time. She'll say, oh, I'm very sorry about my mommy. She's Canadian, and it's like, I just sort of naturally defer to her. It's the accent, really. I would like to be accepted by the upper echelon of British society. Sure, I would like to find a buried castle and some gold, something that's gonna put my daughter in her place. She is the English rose in our house, and I wanna show her that I've got something besides Canadian, something that perhaps my daughter Violet will respect. I've come to Toronto, Canada, because I felt like I should talk to my mom about her family and where they come from, because that's most of the mystery with us. Catherine is looking for English roots to share with her daughter Violet. She knows she won't find them among her father's ancestors. I know all about my dad's family. It's like, once upon a time, Tipperary, the end. They're just super Irish, and I love them, and I know where they came from. But English ancestry is a possibility on her mum's side. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Come on in. What are you taking in your coffee these days, Catherine? Easy. Milk that's not milk. I have fake milk. There's the poutine. Mm. Do you want some? Whenever Catherine comes to Canada, she orders poutine, a traditional Canadian dish of chips, cheese curds, and gravy. Thank you. Needs vinegar. I have vinegar. Yeah. How much do you want? All of it. <laughs> People really don't get how good it is. <laughs> In America, I ask for white vinegar, and they're like, you gonna wash the windows? So thank you for digging out these photos. I loved my grandma. That was really hard for me when she died, but I was 15, so I was kind of too cool to go to the hospital and stuff. I don't think we look and alike, but people have said that to me. Yeah, a little. And she and her mom were close. Oh, yes. You never met Nanny. She's your great-grandmother. Mm -hmm. Her name was Beatrice Adelia Sill. Still searching for English roots, Catherine is following a different branch of her maternal family to another part of Canada. Her five times great-grandparents, Giles Hosier and Grace Newell, lived in Bonavista, Newfoundland, in the late 1700s. The island of Newfoundland is Canada's easternmost province and was the nearest port for ships sailing from Britain to trade in the vital 18th century commodity, cod. Cod fishing put Newfoundland on the map, drawing many people from Ireland, Scotland, and England to settle here. To find out about her five times great-grandparents, Catherine is meeting historian Angela Duffett. Thank you for driving on our Canadian Girls Road Trip. You are most welcome. So, it's my understanding that my five times great-grandparents, Giles Hosier and Grace Newell, might be from Buena Vista. That is correct. I grew up on a street called Newell Street. Cool. Yeah. Full circle. I know. I, love that. I don't know if it has anything to do with Grace Newell. Wouldn't but that be something? Yeah, it would. I am pleasantly surprised by Buena Vista. It's more beautiful than I thought it would be. What can you tell me about my five times great-grandparents who lived here? So Grace and Giles lived here, and this is a document explaining a bit about what they did here. Have a look. Thank you. It, this is a, an excerpt from a survey of what were known as fishing rooms in Bonavista. Oh. And on the right-hand column, you're looking at a description of the fishing room that Grace and Giles owned. They owned a fishing room. What's a fishing room? So although we call it a room, think much bigger. These were usually owned by what we would call a, a merchant family who owned merchant premises and traded with the fishermen uh, who would have used their room to land their catch and to prepare their catch. Seems like a really hard job. And that was the main industry, obviously, we're on a peninsula. It was all about the fishing. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Catherine, we're now standing in the churchyard of Christ Church Anglican Church in Bonavista, and your five times great grandfather Giles is buried here. First row towards the fence. Good row. First row. Okay. Uh, Canada. <sighs> First row. This one. That's it. I've got a photo here taken before the gravestone had eroded a bit. Memory, in memory of Giles Hosier, who died the 3rd of November, 1812. Also, William, son of the above, who was lost the 7th of October. Also, of Giles another son of the above Giles Hosier, who died on the 8th of December, 1812. So the three men died within a month of each other almost to the day, the father and two sons. That's so tragic. Mm -hmm. I'll show you another document here. This is Giles' death notice from the newspaper. It's at the bottom here. Giles Hosier of Poole in the county of Dorset, England, but late of Bonavista, Newfoundland. So he was from Dorset. I knew we were English at some point. Yeah. And I really love Dorset. I thought that I was gonna be super English. I thought we'd go maybe two generations back, but now I know my great, 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 great grandfather is the one who was born in England and then came here. So actually I'm a lot more Canadian than I thought, but still English. Giles Hosier is the one who first came to Canada. He had such a tragic ending, losing his son and losing his livelihood and then losing his own life. Now I know how far back my family actually goes in Canada. I can take back that story to my daughter, Violet, and say, I am a little bit English, just like you. I told my mom everything about my five times great-grandparents. I told her we're in Bonavista and she wanted to sing you a song. It's a really old Canadian song about old time life in Bonavista, and apparently every Canadian my mother's age knows it. It's a pretty sweet jam. Hello? Hi, Mom, will you sing that song again? I used to buy? Yeah. I used to buy to build the boat, and I used to buy to sail, or I used to buy to catch the fish and take some home to lies, or I don't want your maggoty fish, that's no good for winter. I could buy as good as that down in Bonavista. Vista. That song? Yeah, good song, Mom. Thanks. Bye. My family spent, what, 230 years in Canada? And then I, I brought us home. Mm -hmm.